Hey guys, so I just got back in the store, um, in the house from Aldi's. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly the stuff that I picked up. Um, I've been wanting to do some different things around the house as far as the way I prepare um, the boys' food. Sometimes it's really challenging finding different recipes and things to make because of my son being a type 1 diabetic. It's not that there aren't recipes out there that are healthy, but it's the the weight between buying processed food that has the nutrition um, information on it or the homemade recipes where you're literally trying to figure out how to divide it up what the nutrition is what the carbs are and it's just a lot you know just trying to find calories and fat and all of that like you can pretty much figure that kind of stuff out for yourself but the carbs is kind of like a whole another situation so so that I didn't feel overwhelmed and consume me I've been doing some research I found a website today called calorie count so basically you can um copy and paste the recipe if it's something online or if it's a recipe you have the measurements for you can go ahead and uh put them in the little box under new recipe and just hit analyze recipe and if there's anything it needs you to fix it'll highlight it and then um like the wording and then it'll go ahead and fix it and then it'll tell you the carbs you put in the serving sizes and all that so that is going to be a lifesaver for me so i was watching a video from a fellow YouTuber, hey Helen, and her video along with some other random videos that I happen to see on freezer meals and just organizing the food, it really like got my juices flowing so I was like you know what, I'm going to go ahead and stop saying what I'm going to do and I'm going to make my list. So I sat down um, yesterday which was Friday, I made my list and I went to the store to get like some fruit and some extra items for baking you know flour and all that now that i found this website y'all is gonna change like our whole life because now i'm not gonna have to leave my stand mixer which you guys may be able to see up there see i have my my kitchen aid right there right there i have my cuisinart ice cream sorbet frozen yogurt maker and like i've never used any of them because i'm just like trying to figure out the recipes and then the carbs was just team too much so dun, da, 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 without further ado i'm gonna show you what i got from all these and welcome to my new journey so the first thing i got was this fit and active 32 ounce uh plain yogurt so i'm gonna use this in a recipe for i think it's some muffins and then also um if the boys want to try using it in their smoothie as an alternative to a liquid then we're gonna see how that goes also I picked up this eight ounce bag of spinach which I buy this a lot just because I find that for some reason their bag salad type products and lettuce things like that they seem to last longer I don't know why in the in the bigger grocery stores sometimes I feel like they're always slimy and sludgy and as soon as you open them they just go bad and I just I have not experienced that yet with this since I've been buying it so yay for that also, I picked up this uh, almond milk and the chocolate flavor because my older son and myself, we like chocolate milk. I actually have never tried almond milk in any type, even though I buy it like on the regular. But they had the half gallons um, and the cashew milk, I think it was, for like uh, while supplies last. So I went on ahead and got those. Those were the last two. So I looked at it and so, said, hey, it's meant to be. I got some bananas for smoothies and we were thinking about making like some fruit bowls like I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but they have them at like places like Jamba Juice and I know Jamba Juice might not be everywhere but maybe from watching YouTube you might have seen somebody making like an acai bowl or some type of fruit bowl where it's kind of like a parfait but just in a bowl instead instead of like a vertical cup so we're thinking about doing some stuff like that so I picked up Two bags of the black sealess grapes, which will be snacks for the kids for lunches and around the house. And then the last thing in that bag was then two bags of red grapes, which I got for my older son because I don't really eat red grapes unless they're like already mixed into a fruit salad. I'm more of a green grape, green Granny Smith apple, green apple candy type girl. Alright, so let's see. In my next bag, sorry, let me take my mail out. I checked it on the way in. 
So I got four things of Kiwi. Bam. So as you know, if you shop at Aldi, they come in the packs of four. So I got those and I'm going to slice them up and put them in little containers or sandwich bags so I can have them as snacks. The reason why a lot of times when I buy kiwi, I end up not using them or they go bad is because like I hate when I'm ready to just go eat one. It's like the fur and you got to peel it and cut it and slice it. Like no, I, I don't have time. Like no, let's, let's stop lying. I don't have the interest, okay, to do that every time I just want one. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut everything up and then I don't have to worry about it. So then I can just go grab me a portion size and bam, I'm good. Then I got these right here. It came in a pack of three. And it's the Baker's Corner Active Dry Yeast. And it's the all natural. And they also had um, another one that said like highly active. But that one didn't say all natural. So I just went with this one. And I got this as just a backup because I might decide to make some homemade bread. You never know. I looked at a recipe for sliced bread. Like sliced white bread for sandwiches and stuff. So it's a possibility. Then I picked up this 12 ounce pack of white chocolate chips and I got this because I'm going to make muffins for the boys and I found a recipe for their banana and white chocolate muffins so that's part of the reason why I got bananas the other part will be for smoothies but since none of the bananas were really ripe you know I figured I would just start with this one and then by the time they're ripe we'll just decide what we want to do with them if we want to bake them just eat them put them in cereal put them in a smoothie I don't know then I got two packs of the green grapes and then unfortunately I was only able to get one pack of strawberries and that was because the rest of them were whack and I don't pay for whack I'll just go back okay so in my next bag I got this uh, Nature's Nectar 100% apple juice with no high fructose. What? Oh, yeah, no high fructose corn syrup. So there you go. And that's a 64 ounces. And I got this if the boys wanted to use that as um, their liquid for their smoothies as an alternative to juice or regular milk or even the chocolate milk depending on what flavors they put in there i don't know maybe they can make a smoothie with the almond chocolate milk maybe a little bit of banana and maybe a little bit of strawberry that might actually be good so if not my son will just drink it with his meals as always or in the morning for breakfast and then i got two things of cuties because you know if you had noticed i got pretty much two of everything else however with cuties I always buy a minimum of two bags at a time because it's like you got to know your family know your household like what, what, what would be the point of buying one literally they could eat those up today and be done all right so ooh, i'm running out of room no oh, have mercy i feel like i was in there forever these bags are heavy y'all like my bag look at that okay anyway so in this bag i got flour and this is just an extra one i already have one because i planned on making chocolate chip walnut cookies i think it was and i haven't made them yet because i was waiting for like a weekend when i didn't have anything to do to just make like a huge batch the recipe that i was following actually makes like four dozen i want to say so you know i needed time for that obviously you know you can just roll it up put it in your freezer and make it when you want but i'd rather just make it all and then put the ones that are done in the freezer and take those out what I want. Then I got this bag of apples. This is a three pound bag of Granny Smith apples. And these are going to be for some muffins that I'm going to make. I'm um, going to make some apple cinnamon muffins. And then probably just some apple slices for the boys. You know, as a snack or something. Or even in their smoothie. Sorry guys, I gotta keep moving that way to put stuff on the counter because I'm like running out of room. And the last thing in this bag is the golden potatoes. And this is a five pound bag. And I got this because we're supposed to be making like breakfast bowls. So it'll just have like potatoes, scrambled eggs with cheese, and some type of breakfast meat. Most likely a turkey bacon or regular bacon, something like that. 
No, you're like, well, how you buying all this fruit and then you buying pork bacon? Because I can. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, then. But no, I mean, hey, I ain't say I was perfect. You know, none of us are perfect. We all have certain things that we like. And who doesn't like bacon? We all like bacon. Even people who don't eat meat anymore, when they ate meat, they still they still talk about bacon. And if they didn't like it, then it wouldn't be so many things out here that mimic other food items in, you know, vegetarian or vegan form, right? So let's just keep it real. You know, I went through my whole battle with that back and forth. I do, I eat it, I don't eat it. I don't want to eat meat, maybe I will. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Pretty much, when you eat cheap stuff, you tend to not want to eat certain things. When you go to a nice, higher-end restaurant and get a, a prime rib or something like that, girl, bye. I'm not giving up meat. No. Now, you give me some something with some ground beef in it that's a bad quality of ground beef, that's nasty, got little chips or chunks or something in it, Mm -mm, I'm ready to give up meat right then and there. You ask me to touch some raw chicken, I'm like, mm, I'm good. Like, I'm the only person you know who will sit there and use some tongs to make chicken, prepare it, season it, all that, and not touch it one time. Like, I, I cannot. And I would never sit there and stick my hand in a big bowl of ground anything, kneading and mixing it. Ooh, I can't. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, ma'am. So, in my last bag, it looks like, I got, um... An extra thing of eggs. Normally, I don't even get my eggs from Aldi's because I found this little neighborhood store where I live that I never knew was there. So, usually I go when they have them on sale because I can get 18 at a time on sale. Pretty much when I make eggs, I make 12 at a time. Uh, just so we have, you know, four eggs a piece. And that's just because it keeps them full all day. So, pretty much if they eat breakfast, like on a Saturday then usually they don't want to eat again until like dinner we just might eat an earlier dinner around like this time like around 4 30 versus waiting until maybe six then i got this container it's like a 15 ounce container of countryside creamery it says tastes like butter no hydrogenated oils i've never tried this before i'm a blue bonnet girl but you know they don't sell that at aldi so i got this one just so my son can have something to put on toast because he, they don't have preferences with certain things um the only thing i've noticed from aldi's my younger son he's not really a fan of all of the the regular yogurts that i buy but some of the greek ones he'll eat the other varieties he'll eat and maybe one or two types he might will just attempt if he just wants a yogurt and they're the only ones here. If not, he's kind of a yo play kind of dude or a Chobani kind of dude. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to probably have to make another store run. And when I get done with this, I'm definitely going to have to go to Dollar Tree and I'm going to look for some more things. So you guys will probably see a Dollar Tree haul following this video. Alright, so I also got this 16 ounce package of countryside creamery sweet cream unsalted butter and it's four sticks bam and then i got this uh 16 ounce pack of mild cheddar normally i do colby jack but for cer certain things you kind of want a certain flavor of cheese um and sometimes with the colby jack i don't know sometimes i find that they in a sandwich form they might not eat it they're more of a just regular cheese but because i was trying to keep the budget low as possible um i would have preferred to been able to go to like a deli and get you know some sliced cheese but since i couldn't do that then i decided to do the mild um shredded cheddar cheese instead then um uh, and that'll be for putting on the scrambled eggs and making sandwiches i plan on making them like breakfast sandwiches ahead of time and wrapping them individually putting them in a really big storage bag i thought i had one out here or at least the box but i think when we cleaned up the box got thrown away but dollar tree has these like really big bags now i want to say you get like five in a pack maybe no more than eight and they're they're about this big they're like this long right so i want to get those and i'm going to use those to store like muffins so i'm gonna make a whole bunch of muffins put them in those put them in the freezer and then as they want them, they can take them out and then i'm going to get some more uh freezer bags and um i'm going to store some fruit in it i'm going to make some smoothie bags because that's what i've been wanting to do as well to have smoothies ready for them 
and also the eggs will go in what else the yeah they'll go in the breakfast burritos and then they'll go in the breakfast sandwiches so that's what that's for and then these are the organic baby cut carrots and they're 16 ounces and I got these to put in our smoothies as well because when we were looking through the Jamba Juice website, we were getting ideas on, you know, their different flavor combinations. Even though, to be honest, depending on what you're drinking a smoothie for, it's kind of better to just drink that as your meal per se. Because when you look at this, the carbs on just theirs for like a small, like a small bowl or something that they have, it was like 93 carbs, something like that. And if I was to give them something like that, that would be the only thing I would want them to eat. Maybe that along with some scrambled eggs where it won't really affect the carbs. But as far as like that with, you know, some pancakes or French toast or something like that. Or some type of potato. Nah. Like that's not going to happen. It's, that would just be too many carbs at one time. And then the last thing I got was two of the nature's nectar 100 percent pure squeeze orange juice never from concentrate no pulp now they had another one there by them but that one was i think from concentrate i can't remember but that one was like i want to say 30 cents difference in price so yeah that is my haul and i actually was writing stuff down as i was going through the store i had a list but i also made a memo of the items that I was picking up. So, in case you're curious, really quickly, the grapes were $3.98 in all the varieties each. The apples were $3.49. The kiwi were $0.99 cents each. The organic carrots were $0.99 cents each. The cuties were $3.49 a bag. The potatoes were $2.49 a bag. The 32-ounce uh, yogurt was $1.89. The orange juices I just showed you were $1.99 a box. Um, the yeast packets were 79 cents. Um, the four pounds of flour was 99 cents. Score, because I was going to wait till I went to Dollar Tree to pick one up as an extra, and I'm glad I picked that one up instead. The apple juice was $1.49, and again, this was 64 ounces. And the chocolate almond milk for the half gallons were $2.49, and that was like the wild supplies last. I don't know if the price would normally be different. And then the butter um, in the tub, this one was $1.19, I think it was. No, I think this one was a little bit more. I think what it was is I didn't write down the price of both of them. I want to say the unsalted was $1.19. And then I don't, the other one was a dollar and some change. It was under two dollars, like maybe a dollar seventy. No, maybe it was like a dollar twenty nine or something like that. The shredded cheese for what did I say this was? Uh, four cups was three twenty nine. The bag of spinach was a dollar seventy nine, and the dozen of eggs was a dollar thirty five. So, yeah, I can check. I think my receipt is right here somewhere. Yeah. So I can double check the butter for you guys. I just hung my purse right there because I knew I was going to be rushing back out of the house. So the unsalted butter, it says $1.99. And then, yeah, okay. So this one was $1.99 for the four bars of unsalted. And then they have the one that is salted like this as well. And then this one was $1.19. So, yeah. So my total was $71.07 for 31 items. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. Maybe, you know, you got inspired by all this fruit and all this goodness, and you'll go out and buy you some good stuff too, and share down below. If you guys have any, you know, smoothie recipe combinations that you guys, uh, that you guys use or come up with any fruit, you know, or snack ideas. And also, can I just say, why is it when you're in a grocery store and you have ice cream in your cart, people walk past your cart and when they look, they're like, ooh, that is so good. Mm -hmm. But when you walk around with a cart full of fruit and vegetables, everybody look at your cart and then they look at you like, like, why she got that? <laughs> I'm like, seriously? Like, because it's good. Like, it's fruit. Why, why would you look at somebody weird for having something healthy? It's like, who does that?
But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. I'm going to go now so I can make my thumbnail and get up out this house and go to Dollar Tree so I can come back and start prepping all this stuff. I need to wash everything, separate it, and I'm not really looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to it being done and pretty and neat and all organized. So I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Bye.